Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, November 21st, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and we are making some Christmas cards tonight um, using the faux shutter technique, and um, this is one of my favorite techniques, so um, it just makes the cards look so cool, and it's really easy, so we are just going to meet... Um, making these three and maybe one more. I have, I brought the stuff to make, um, four cards. So if we have time, we'll do four. So welcome everybody. Come on in, say hello, say where you're, um, from, watching from. I think I forgot to say this is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. <laughs> I'm a little flustered. I was just like doing stuff, sitting here at my desk and all of a sudden I looked at the time and it was 6.58. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to hurry up real quick and, and set it up. So I made it just in the nick of time. So welcome everybody. Hey, come on in. Let me say hello. Hey Beth. Hey Carol. Hey Myra. Hey Sharon. It's officially Thanksgiving break. Wow. I don't get a Thanksgiving break. I'll be working on Thursday and Friday all day. So I'm off today and tomorrow. And then I have two long days. And then I have Saturday off, and then I have to work all day Sunday. So I have a long stretch because everybody at work wanted this weekend off. So there's only going to be three of us working uh, most of the time. So it's going to be stretched thin. So I'm hoping we're not too busy. Um, hey, Debbie. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Diana. Hey, Katie. Hey, Sherry. Finally caught me live. Yay. Been on vacation in Branson. A couple of crops on Saturday. Yay. Hey, Francis. Hey, Tootsie Bell. Hey, Linda. Hey, Robin. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Judith. Hey, Robin. Oh, I think I already said Robin. No, that was the other Robin. Oh, we got two Robins. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Linda. Hey, Lita. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Denise. Hey, Diane. I got a bunch of your cards tonight, Diane. So I got some show and tell for you guys. Hey, Nidra. Hey, Rita. Hey, Marion. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Debbie. All right, we are getting full on here. We're up to 72 already. So I'm going to stop there. But come on in. Still say hello to everybody. I hope you guys are getting ready for Thanksgiving and getting all of your goodies made. Everybody at work was talking about it yesterday, what they're making and where they're going. And <laughs> I'm like, well, I'll be here <laughs> eating Cracker Barrel. At least they're going to cater Cracker Barrel for us. So we'll have some good food. We just have to reheat it, but it'll be fun. I work every Thanksgiving, so it's not too bad. Plus we get paid double. So um, if you're just coming on, make sure you do thumbs up and uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for me to help my channel grow. And uh, let me show you some show and tell. So these are all from Diane, who is on here. I showed you a few of her cards the other day. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, don't forget today is the first day of the last chance sale. So I went through the mini catalog the other day and showed you guys um, all the stuff that was retiring and what was staying. And then the sale starts today, well, started today at um, midnight last night, well, this morning, I guess. Um, so lots of stuff is retiring, and then some stuff is on sale. Um, I'm using the paper, most of the paper I'm using tonight is staying. So this paper right here, which is one of my favorite papers, is actually staying. So that's exciting. Um, but I would say like 75 to 80% of this mini catalog is retiring. So make sure if there's something you want, you get it starting today, um, and check the sale because once it's gone, it is gone. So they will not be getting any more in, I don't think so. All right. So these cards are from Diane, who is one of my downline and one of my good friends. So this is using the faux shutter technique too, which is what we're doing tonight. So this... Um, it's really cute. I can't remember what the name of that stamp set is, but um, it's a beautiful. And then this one is also another cute one. It's a fun fold card. Love it. And I 
just found this ribbon today. I never even saw this ribbon before today. I saw it in somebody else's video and I was like, where's that ribbon? So I don't even know where it is, but I thought it was cute. Um, and this one I love. I think she um, got this idea from Susan Campfield. Beautiful card. Here's another gorgeous one in purple. And I have that stamp set and I haven't used it yet, but I need to hurry up and use all these stamp sets. Um, this one I thought was gorgeous. She embossed it in gold. Love that Santa Claus stamp and I love it with the gold. I need to do that one because um, I don't emboss very much, but I need to. And then this is actually paper from last year and stamp set from last year. So this was one of my favorite papers last year was that poinsettia paper. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not sure who she got this idea from, but I thought that was just so cool looking. So gorgeous, gorgeous. So those are all from Diane. So thank you, Diane, for making those card samples for me. And then I got a couple cards in the mail. So Carol Alanis, if you're watching on here, I finally got your card in the mail. This was a birthday card she sent me and it got lost. And I found out why, because she put the wrong zip code. <laughs> so it just came in the mail yesterday. <laughs> Um, so I don't have any idea how to uh, work this card, but I know this is like a little easel that says smile. And then these two fold. So I'm not sure if it, I don't know what it does, but <laughs> I don't know if it sits like this or if it's supposed to do something else. I don't know. So I, I pulled it out. It was like flat like that. And then I was trying to figure out, I've never seen anything like this, so I don't know what to do with it. So Carol, if you're on here and you got any ideas, let me know and help me out with that girl. So that was cute. And then I got another card from Betty Burke and she made this gorgeous card. I'm pretty sure it was with the napkin and I thought it was so beautiful. So she sent me that one and put a nice little note in there. Um, love, love, love it and love all the glitter. She put all this glitter on there, and I really, really miss our Dazzling Diamonds glitter and the two-way glue pen to do that technique, because I used to put glitter on everything when we had glitter, so I'm hoping Stampin' Up! will bring that back one day. Um, so let me show you what we're using tonight. We're using the Stylish Shapes dies, and that's for the center um, square, so that's about almost two inches. It's just slightly under two inches square. So we're using that. We're using the Christmas Classics stamp set for the words and for the little pine needles. And speaking of pine needles, oh my gosh. I woke up this morning and you could just hear the wind howling. And I was like, what is going on outside? It sounded like a tornado was blowing through. And uh, the, I mean, it was just howling. It was raining and I look out the window and my neighbors like three doors down have these big pine trees and all the pine straw and all this other stuff from the pine tree. I don't know what it's called, but it's some other junk that falls off a pine tree. Like um, it's not the pine needles, but it's something else. But you can smell it because it smells just like pine. And uh, I mean, there's just piles of it everywhere, all over my yard, all over everybody's yard in our court all over the street. I mean, it literally looked like a hurricane had come through overnight. Um, and there was branches everywhere. And I'm thinking, did I sleep through that? I mean, <laughs> it was windy this morning, but I guess last night it was super windy. So I don't know. I missed it, I guess. Um, so we're also using the um, More Dazzle specialty paper. This is in the big catalog. And um, I bought like six packs of this back when the catalog came out and haven't used hardly any yet. So we're using that today. And I used it on this card for the back piece, but I think I'm going to do it differently for the video to show you a different way. We're also using this paper, which is staying. And I had to put it, I kept ripping my um, paper pack. So I just threw everything in here. So this is actually like two packs of paper. But this is like so gorgeous. I love, love, love this paper. Um, and I know I've showed it to you like a hundred times, so I'm not really gonna show much of it, but it's just got the prettiest colors and um, the back pieces are pretty solid, but the front is just absolutely gorgeous. So if you don't have that, it's staying around. I guess, I guess the things that are staying are gonna be online. 
I guess. I don't know um, how that's going to work, but um, this paper's going. So when it's gone, it's gone. This is the joy of Christmas. The other one was um, Winter Meadow, I think is the name of the paper. So this one is another gorgeous one. That's the traditional green and red colors. And then I used this one, which I heard is already sold out. So I think this was an online um, item because I looked in the mini catalog. It wasn't in the mini catalog. It's not in the big catalog. So I'm pretty sure it was just online. It's silver and gold adhesive backed glimmer paper, which is the coolest thing ever. And I bought it and didn't even realize that it was adhesive backed until uh, like a couple weeks ago. So I pulled it out and used it for these cards and it makes like it's so easy because you don't have to use glue. So if you bought some of this, it only you only get two sheets, one gold, one silver, or one, yeah, one gold, one silver. And um, I'll show you how easy it is to use that. But I think I think it's sold out because somebody told me it was. And I was really bummed about that. But all right. And then I think that is it. Except for my card kit. So don't forget, this is the card kit. So if you place an order today through the end of the month, so you still have another over a week, that's the card kit. So you'll get all the products um, to make this, except, well, not the stamp set and the ink, but you get all the paper stuff and the ribbon and the pearls um, to make these cards. So that's with a $50 order or more using the host code. And please make sure you use the host code. If you have trouble finding where to put it, it's when you go to check out. Um, you go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. When you go to check out, in the top right corner, it will say um, oops, host code. And you put it in the little box. You can just copy and paste it um, from my website or from the video. You can just copy it and, and not really copy and paste it, but write it down. <laughs> so, um, so make sure you don't forget that. And then if your order is over $100, you'll get a pack of the festive pearls also. And there is red. Uh, section of red under here. These are my favorite um, gems probably in the whole catalog. So, well, actually they're not in the catalog. They're online only too. So if you can't find them, they're online. Here's the number. It's 159963. And I think they're around 750 maybe, but they're absolutely beautiful. I use them all the time, but they are, I, I'm pretty sure in the online store. So um, look there. But that's the item number, so uh, let me read some comments before we get started. Oh my goodness gracious, let me go back. Uh, oh, Rick, Rick Shaw Rental says, oh, I love Cracker Barrel. Me too. Double turnip greens, no, thank you. I am not, I don't even know what a turnip green is. But I'm guessing it's something like a collard or something, because I don't like those either. <laughs> Um, Vicki says, love that paper, the meadow one. Me too. Um, looking forward to seeing if your easy faux shutter is easy enough for me. Michelle, this is like the easiest faux shutter ever. Um, you will not do one easier than this. Well, the only thing that would make it easier is if we didn't do the different pieces. So you can leave it the one piece if you want to, and that would be even easier, but I decided to do different coordinating pieces with it. So if you don't want to do the separate pieces and have it different, you can just leave it the original, which I'll show you when we're doing it. Um, <laughs> Cindy says, faux shutter has been so much fun to make, still trying to use up 20 years of retired DSP. Yeah, I have like 20 years of retired DSP too. Um, the pop-up goes over the message. Oh, okay. Are you talking? Oh, you're talking about the card that Carol sent me. Um, last chance sale runs through the end of the month. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it's through the 30th. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and then after that, um, there's still another whole month to get the stuff that's left. But I think the sale... I don't know if the sale goes through the end of December. You know, I forgot to look. I know you guys love me because I never know what's going on. <laughs> I'm always like, <laughs> like not knowing everything. Um, 
glitter is gorgeous but not good for the environment. Oh, that's not good. Well, I don't put it in the environment. I just put it on the card. So then it shouldn't come off of the card. Um, I was sad. I have to wait till December to get that meadow paper. Oh, I didn't even know it was sold out right now. Thank you, Joan. Use the DSP paper turned inside out for envelopes. Huh. That's interesting. Never thought about that. Um, oh, Michelle says she does love that about me. <laughs> Loves You love that I'm a dingbat. <laughs> oh, the sale goes through January 3rd. Oh, wow. So it goes the rest of the catalog. Well, that's good. So the sale lasts... Um, for a month, but the only bad thing is I bet you everything that's on sale is going to sell out. So that's the only bad thing. All right. So we're going to start with this one. So I've kind of layered these. Um, I didn't mark all the pieces because they're pretty much all exactly the same. So every card pretty much uses the exact same pieces. So this is what I wrote down. So you've got your base piece. That's this one. So for the back piece of every single card, it's five and a half by eight and a half. So this is um, Lost Lagoon. And then you've got your inside piece, which is the white. And your front piece. I'll put this up here. And then you got your front piece. These two pieces, the front and the inside, are five and a quarter by four. See, I was lazy today, so I didn't mark it all. Then you need a three by three coordinating piece of designer paper. My hair's falling out everywhere. So that's this piece right here. We're going to use that right here for these two. And then you need your little square, which goes in the middle. And then you need your strips. So what I did was I just cut quarter inch strips off of that paper. I should just, um, just so it showed you a minute ago, the, um, silver one. Um, oh, Vicki says the paper's not sold out. She just wanted to get it on sale, but it's not on sale. Um, yes, Cindy, I did make it easy. Okay, so this is what you need. Very easy, and that's about two inches. That's three inches. So all of the cards we're doing today use this exact same measurement for everything. So you can make this with any paper you want to and just use these measurements, okay? I didn't feel like writing it out four times, so <laughs> that's why I just wrote it one time. So get a screenshot of that. And that's Lost Lagoon, and that's the Winter Meadow paper. And that is also the Winter Meadow paper. So that's all you need. So here we go. All right, so first thing you're going to do is take your paper. And I made a template. I don't know if you guys watched last time I made this. But I made a template out of, this is the back of the um, pack of paper you get. You know, when you buy any of the designer paper, you get this piece in the back that's kind of thicker. So I made a template from that. And what I did, this piece right here is four by five and a quarter. So I measured across at two inches, put a mark and drew a line. And then I measured this way. Um, half of five and a quarter is two and seven eighths. No, it's not. It's two and three eighths. Wait a minute. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, half of five is two and a half. So it's two and five eighths. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know I was a math teacher. Okay, I had it on the ruler right. It's two and five eighths. <laughs> so you're gonna make a mark there. It's a little bit less than two and three quarters. <laughs> make a mark there on either side and then draw your line. So then once you do that, this is what it looked like originally. So this was my original template with that in there. So then what I did was I put it in the die cutting machine and I took the die, which I threw back in my box. Hold on. Now I can't find it. Uh-oh. Here it is. Okay. So then I just lined this up so that the points were on the line. So if you, if you line up all your points with the lines that you drew, then it'll be exactly in the middle. And then you can pop it out. All right, so that was two inches. Let me put this on here. Two inches, and then this was um, two and, what did I say, five-eighths inches. So there you go. 
All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So that's halfway. Um, is that right? Five and a quarter. Okay, two and a half plus an eighth. Yeah, four eighths, five eighths. Yep. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, she's so silly. <laughs> All right, so that's my template. So what we're gonna do, put that right on top so it's exactly the same size. Oh, that was pretty paper too. All right, so then we wanna put our square here, but we wanna stamp it first. So let's go ahead and stamp it. I need some scrap paper. Here's some scrap paper. All right, so we're gonna stamp it diagonal because that's how it's going in there. I'm gonna use the Pretty Peacock ink. So we've got Pretty Peacock and we've got the words. We're using the same words on every single one. So we're just gonna ink that up and stamp it. This stamp is filthy. Okay, I should have cleaned this stamp. And it's... <laughs> I'm just looking at it thinking it's really dirty. Um, okay, so just put this right on here. Teresa, this is your first live. Well, good. You don't have the silver and gold shimmer paper or glitter paper that uh, if you don't have the one that's adhesive you can use the other one because we have tons and tons of why is this so filthy man um we have lots of glitter paper so or glimmer paper whatever you want to call it so if you don't have the one that's self-adhesive just use the one that's regular and put glue on it all right so then i'm going to put this in here we're going to stamp it off because you don't want it so dark. And then just stamp a few of these little pine needles that are all over my yard right now. All over. And then, oh, you know what we wanna do is on the inside, we're gonna stamp this other one. So let me get my white piece. And we're gonna stamp this one. This is Lost Lagoon. just stamp that a few times on the inside all right and that's it for the stamping so let's move that out of the way so now we're going to do the easy part here all right so line those two up and you want to glue this down right there in the center so oops stuck let me get my glue ready I need to read all these comments you guys are talking a lot today Cindy says I need another glass of wine for this Vicki says, come on, math teacher, get with the program. <laughs> oh, Sharon, thank you. I'm so glad you love me. <laughs> Rosemary said she eyeballs putting it on. I don't, I just can't do the eyeball thing. All right, so I'm going to put some glue right in the middle there. And then we're just going to stick it right down. I tried eyeballing it and it kept coming out a little bit crooked. And it was driving me crazy. So that's why I made a little template. So hold that down. What was your die angle used for the center? So that is from, I just, stylish, I think it's stylish shapes. Wait a minute, let me look. It is from, yeah, stylish shapes. And it's the two, about two inches. So then just push that out. So now it's stuck on my piece of paper. All right, so now we're gonna take our glimmer paper that's self-adhesive. And you're just going to peel it. So if you don't have the self-adhesive kind, you're going to have to put glue on the back of yours. So that just makes it a little bit more messy, but that's okay. Line it up with that first corner there and just pull this down until you get to the edge. And then we're just going to cut that. And I really need my glasses on because I can't see. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna cut right there. Then we're gonna go to the next part. I'm gonna use the other end. And um, there we go. All right, so line that up right there with the next one. And go all the way to the end of your paper, snip it. Then now, you can either take your paper cutter and cut um, a straight edge or you can kind of wing it yourself. I think that's pretty straight. 
and then just keep on going. So you can get almost the whole card from one strip of 12 inches, but not quite. It's a little bit too short. So stick that down, whoops. And trim that piece. And the last piece, see, is just a little bit too short because you gotta get it to go all the way to the edge. So we'll save that one and just grab another one. So here I have some left over from another card. And I just realized my fingernails dirty because I went to take the garbage out because tomorrow's garbage day. And then I was trying to pick up a bunch of that pine straw stuff because it's everywhere. It's all over my car. It's all over my driveway. As soon as I opened the garage door, it was just like piles and piles of it. So I was picking it up. I did wash my hands, but I guess it got into my fingernails a little bit. All right. So there you go. So there's our first step. So then you can leave it like that. If you want to leave it like that and do your card just like that, there you go. You'll be done. But I wanted to put some contrasting color. So what I did was I took it and just put some glue here. And if you want to, um, you can just cut this in half diagonal ways and that makes it even easier to do. But... I didn't do that ahead of time, but you could. So stick that down right there and then trim it off. So you're just gonna trim this right on the edge. You don't wanna waste any, cause you need really the other half. All right, so then we're gonna take this half, make sure that's good and stuck. Take this half and put the glue on this side and then stick it in there. Oops. And leave that for a second. Well, if you don't have the square die, um, Tony, just, just cut a two inch square and that'll work. Or if you have any square dies that, um, it's just almost two inches, like one and seven eighths, but two inches would work totally fine. Let me just cut that off. And then just go right down here. So if you have a paper cutter and you wanna get it super straight, you can do that. I'm just winging it with my scissors. And there you go. So then we just glue this on the front. And put the white piece on the inside. And we're gonna put a couple pearls and spritz it. Wait, what? The glitter paper has it. Uh, yeah, rosemary. So that I um, just discovered. It was in the online store, but somebody said it's sold out. So I'm not sure if it is or not, but if you don't have any, and if it is sold out, what you could do is take our adhesive um, sheets, which are in the big catalog, stick that on the back of your glimmer paper and do it that way. Or you could also do that to any paper that you're using for this, and it makes it so much easier than the glue. So we're gonna take some of our festive pearls. Good grief, my hair is coming everywhere. I just like, when I'm fixing it in the morning, it's just coming out almost like I'm going through chemo or something. I think because I had COVID, it's like just really falling out everywhere. It's crazy. I have to keep cleaning out my sink in my bathroom. All right, we're gonna put a couple of these on the trees. So we'll put one on this tree and one on that tree, and then we'll put one over here, kind of like on the side. All right, and then we're gonna spritz it with some shimmer spray, or you could have, if you don't have this, use Dazzling Diamonds, I mean, not Dazzling Diamonds, Wink of Stella, and there you go. So there's the first one. So isn't that easy? That was so easy. Crazy easy. Don't you love it? Let me read some comments real quick. Um, let's see. Thank God we have calculators. I know. <laughs> Diane says she doesn't have the square either. Just cut a square the size you need. So either cut like a two inch square or um, if you want to do one and seven eighths, you can. But two inches would be totally fine. Um, where did the silver strips come from? So I, ha I showed that at the beginning of the video. So it's the gold and silver self-adhesive backed glimmer paper. And I just cut it in quarter inch strips. All right, so that's card one. Now we're gonna do this one. 
So they're the same exact measurements. So we've got our back piece, which is the um, five and a half by eight and a half. The front and the inside piece are the same. So this is the inside, this is the front. They're five and a quarter by four. We've got our three inch square, our almost two inch square. And then we have, again, our same strips that we just used. So the silver strips, um, I have a bunch of them here. So I just took the paper and cut it in quarter inch strips. And that's all you gotta do. And then some ribbon. So that's it. Can you use the adhesive sheets with the gold and silver? I'm pretty sure, I don't see why you couldn't. You just stick it to the back of it um, and then you peel off the one side and then use it as you go, just like this. Um, Vicki, no, I have my thyroid checked. I don't have anything wrong with my thyroid, but um, I just have really thin hair. I think it's genetic, but when I got COVID, the first time and this time, my hair fell out a whole lot more. So they say that is a side effect of having COVID. So, and I sure can't even spare a hair. <laughs> so it's bad. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll come back. <laughs> Bonnie, I'm, I'm always on at seven o'clock on Tuesday night. So it's seven o'clock Eastern here. Yes. Um, Cindy, yes, yeah, start using your bedazzled strip. I should have put some adhesive on the back of that, and that would have been helpful, huh? All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing again, so we just have to stamp our little square using our scrap paper. So this time we're using Starry Sky. I just had that on the table. Um, I think that's really um, Misty Moonlight, but I'm not positive, or Blueberry Bushel. I'm not sure, but I had Starry Sky and it's close enough, so that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna stamp that um, on the diagonal, like a diamond, with my dirty stamp. And there you go. And then also the little pine needles. Stamp off, because you don't want it too dark. And then stamp on there. So there we go. Just kind of clean it a little bit as you go. And then on the inside, we're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna put some pine needles. I don't know why I just cleaned that. So let's just put some more of these pine needles on here. So there you go. Inside of your card done. All right. So now, let's close this up. We don't wanna make a mess. Starry Sky is a beautiful color, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and put this on the inside. Whoops. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to use my template to put my square right in the middle. So get that template out again. Line it up. It's exactly the right size. Put some glue on here. I got it upside down and stick it in there. Hold it for just a second. Um, oh, Vicki says, you'll love me bald. Well, <laughs> I don't want to be bald and I don't want to wear a wig. So I'm hoping my, my hair goes back. The pine needle stamp um, is in the same set with the words. So it's Christmas classics. And we're using Peace on Earth and the Pine Needles from that. And then this other one, I have this one. This is from the, um, is it Magical Meadow stamp set? The one that matches the paper. Matches, goes with this paper. Um, okay, so again, we're going to do our silver adhesive-backed paper. And just pull that off. Let me get my glasses on again. And start at that top right corner, like we usually do. Lay it down, trim it. And this is so easy because you don't have to use glue. It's like, wow, if everything came adhesive back, it'd be so much easier. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this right here. And just keep on going. 
oops, just line it right up against that square, trim it, and then I'll take the other end because that's already straight and go here and lay it down. So I asked the question last time, do you guys like easy cards or more um, intricate cards? And so several people responded. A lot of people love easy cards that they can duplicate, you know, um, especially around Christmas time when you don't have much time to make cards. And then some people said they liked um, the harder cards. So I got a mix of everything. So for Christmas, I really like easy cards because if you're making Christmas cards, you do not want to have to sit and spend an hour making each card. So I am usually a easy stamper and I don't like to spend a whole lot of time on each card. All right. Now again, you can just leave it just like this. Um, and that could be your card right there, but I like to do this and I'm going to show you real quick. So if you take your paper cutter and you cut this on the diagonal at three inches, well, not at three inches, just on the diagonal. It's, this is three inches. So you're going to cut it right on the diagonal over there. So it makes it even easier to do because then all you got to do is put it right there and then trim the ends and then put the other one over here and then trim that. So then you're done. So we're just going to put our glue right here, stick that on, let it sit for a second, um, live dangerously and eyeball it. <laughs> yeah, Diane. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. You have that set. Uh-oh. Why is that counter going crazy? That's so funny. <laughs> I guess I hit something. Oh, I hit my keyboard somewhere and it's like making the counter thing for the thumbs up go crazy. Um, just going back and forth. When I put my paper cutter on the floor, I laid it on my keyboard. So that made my screen go crazy. All right, so there's that one. And then we're going to glue this side. Just put your glue right on the inside there. And put your triangle the opposite way and let it sit for a second. Joan says she starts making Christmas cards in the spring. Well, I actually kind of start the year before because I make so many Christmas cards during classes and videos and everything. I always cut extra. So usually I have a lot left over for the next year. So because I tried to last year, if you sent me a Christmas card, I really tried hard to send you one back. So I think I, I did get almost everybody um, one back in the mail. So I'll try and do that again this year. So if you send me a Christmas card, I will really try hard to send you one back. Because I've got two more sets of classes. I've got one more set of classes coming up next week and then one in December. And then I'm taking a little bit of time off from classes. I still have to work, but okay. Now this one, I put the silver pearls on and then I did a bow. So here's the bow. Do you guys like it with the bow or without the bow? And I put the pearls right on the trees again, like that. And I'll put one you could just do three right there and have them just in the top part if you want. Or you could put them all over. It doesn't matter. All right. So you want with the bow or without the bow? I bought, I bought the ribbon with me. This is my favorite ribbon. I love it. It's the sheer, what is it called? Sheer ribbon, white and silver. So what do you guys think? Bow? Laura says bow with bow. Okay. Love the bow. All right, so what you're gonna do is just tie a bow. So you just take your ribbon, tie a bow, and then, well, I didn't really tie the bow yet. 
to measure it. Okay, so this is how I kind of measure how much ribbon I need. So, oops, I think I just went crooked there. All right, so we need about that much ribbon. So I don't really measure the ribbon. I just kind of make like a little fake bow real quick like that. And then I say, okay, I need about that much ribbon. All right, then what I did was I took this ribbon and I cut it right down the middle. So it's really like a double bow. So, and what happens is it kind of um, leaves little strands everywhere in the bow, but it's really pretty. I like the way that happens like that. All right, so now we have this in half and you're just gonna make a bow with both pieces. Let me start down a little bit lower. Okay. You know, it's like um, they say, <laughs> you know how when you watch Jeopardy at home, you know all the answers to the question, but if you go on the TV show, you like forget everything. That's kind of what happens when you do a video. So, <laughs> I could tie a bow like with my eyes shut when I'm not on camera, but then I get to do a video and it's like, ugh, it never wants to work. Okay, here we go. Okay, so pull that and I'm getting all these strands, but I kind of like the strands because I think they look cool. All right, spread out that fluffy bow part and fix it a little bit. All right, see what I mean? It's got all these strands coming out, but I love that, I think it's pretty. All right, wanna trim that a little bit. It kinda of looks like my hair on there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not, I promise. Okay, so we're gonna trim that down, get that out of the way. And we're just gonna put this down on the bottom and get a glue dot. I'm in my pajamas if y'all can't tell. Today was a pajama day. I think every day I don't have to work is pajama day for the rest of the year. Fluff that up a little bit. And there you go. So we've got a little, a couple hangers here. And then we're just going to spray it with some shimmer. And this one, it looks so pretty. Or if you want to, you can take your Wink of Stella Tap it on there, give it some more sparkle. You can make it super sparkly. Love it. So this would be a super sparkle card. All right, so there you go. So there's that one. So see how easy these are? They're just like, boom, boom. Every single one is gonna be the exact same. And I like the way I did the bow. It only took me three tries. Glue dots never hold your bows, why not? You hot glue them. Holy cow, that would be a lot of work. Might, might stay really good on there. I never have a problem with them coming off. All right, so that was card number two. So now we're gonna go to the next one. So the next one I've got, this is one I didn't have a sample for, so we're just gonna guess how it's gonna look. So um, same thing, we've got our um, base piece, which is the five and a half by eight and a half. Now this one I had to do a little bit different because when I went to cut this, it was only five inches um, wide. So I cut this one down. So the this piece is five and a quarter by four, but this one is actually five by three and three quarters. So it's just one, every time you go down a layer, it's minus a quarter. So there you go. Here's our three inch square, our two inch square. And this time we're gonna use these strips instead of our silver one. Same technique, but not, uh, not adhesive already. You'll have to see the replay. You like the blue card the best. Well, all of them technically are blue except for the red and the green one. Cause Lost Lagoon is blue and the uh, um, other one is blue. You make it look so easy. It is easy, girl. It is easy. Everything I do is easy, really, pretty much. All right, so for this one, same thing with the square. 
So let me get my scrap paper. This is really dirty scrap paper. I need a new clean piece. <laughs> all right, we're still doing our same words. All of, all of them have the same words. So we're using Pretty Peacock again. And the piece on earth, it just fits perfect on this little um, diamond. And it's really bugging me that there's fuzz all over the stamp. So when I stamp it, it's got little pieces of fuzz in there that are getting, <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it is absolutely filthy. Ah! Okay, clean that off. All right, and then we're gonna take the pine needles, ink them up, stamp them off, and then just stamp a little bit on here, all over, and then on the inside of your card, do the same thing. So stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, and there you go. All the stamping is done. And so you could do that ahead of time if you're making a bunch of these, especially if you're making all the exact same one. It shouldn't take you very long. Okay, so this one goes on the inside. We're going to be going over an hour today. But I want to show you the red and the green one too. Because it's really pretty. And that one's using the dazzling paper. All right, so there's the inside. Get our little template real quick. And make sure that's going the right way. Oh, now this one, okay, so this is not going to work with this template because it's a little bit smaller, but we'll just line it up. All right, so there it is lined up. So now we're going to put our glue right here. Stick that on the inside. So try and make it the exact same size. It makes it easier. Um, yeah, love the words. Peace on earth. We sure do need some peace on earth right now. Um, 13 small boxes finished. Now to whack up and scrape more cardstock. Huh. Whack up. Is that... <laughs> Does, are you trying to, to say wake up or whack up? Is that what really you're trying to say? All right, so this is what I do. Instead of putting the glue on these pieces, um, if I'm actually using glue, I just take a little strip oops, of glue and put that down right there. My paper cutter was starting to shred the paper a little bit. I had to change the blade out because it was getting a little bit shreddy on those. <laughs> I've got just fuzz everywhere. All right, so just a little strip of glue and put that one down. I love the Lost Lagoon. You could use Pretty Peacock on this one too. It would be really pretty. Or you could even use the Moody Mauve color. That would be really pretty. And then a little bit of glue. I think it's easier than trying to put the glue on the little strip because then you get it on your fingers, probably. And then one more piece. And there you go. All right, I've got a funny joke tonight too. You guys have been awesome about sending me jokes because uh, almost every night after the video, I get another joke and they're so funny. So this is another funny one. Well, they're all funny, but this is, they're like really good ones. And I've been telling them at work too. They, they love the jokes. All right, so trim all those off. So here we go. All right, now again, you could just stop there and have that as your, we put another layer under it, which is what I should have done. You know what? I should do that. Hold on. I think I have some scrap paper in here. Let me see. Yes, I do. I have Lost Lagoon, so we could put a layer of Lost Lagoon under there. I don't know if I like that or not, though. Maybe we should put about a layer of Dazzle. Let's see what that looks like. We put that underneath. Ooh, that looks pretty. I kind of like it like that. Okay, I'll cut that in a second. All right, so let's finish this part first. So let me cut this in half. So just stick the two ends 
on your paper cutter. Nice and sharp paper cutter. All right, then we wanna cut this down. So this needs to be four by five and a quarter. So we're gonna cut it at four and five and a quarter. So there we go. Okay, so if you don't use five, um, five and a quarter by four for your base piece, make sure you cut another one. I hate to waste all that dazzle. So you know what you should do? Go ahead, if you have to die cut something like some words or some, um, any die cuts you want, go ahead and die cut that out of there because the only thing that's gonna show is this right here. So you could die cut this whole entire piece except for just around the edge and then you wouldn't waste your dazzling paper. So it would be, that's what I try to do if I have some nice paper that I'm using. All right, so we're gonna stick these two pieces right here and at the bottom. Just stick that right in there. Stick the other one over here. And we're gonna trim those. I love these colors. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, do you have mauve? No, I only brought, um, I brought Lost Lagoon and I brought um, Pretty Peacock just as extra sheets. That's all. only thing I brought. The, all my papers in my other room. So that mauve would have been really pretty though. Definitely would have gone very well. Okay, just trim this off. There we go. I went flying over the table. Okay, so the only bad thing is it's hard to glue stuff to this. So we're going to have to do, I think the liquid glue works pretty well. But we could also use dimensionals. So glue this down. That also makes it easier to glue if you cut out like the center part. You could just take like the deckled rectangles or something and cut them out of that. Yeah, die cut the middle of the dazzle paper out with like the deco rectangles or something. Okay, and then we're gonna stick this on here. This glue works, but you could use, um, if you wanted to, use some um, dimensionals, but we'll just glue it down. So we're gonna put lots, lots of glue. And then I was going to take a few minutes because that doesn't stick as well. But I love that. That looks pretty, like with the dazzle coming out. All right. And then we could put a couple of these on here. But I'm going to use the green ones. So you get these green ones that are really, really pretty. I'm not exactly sure what color green that is. But it's kind of like... It's almost like mint macaron that we used to have. Let's put that in there. And um, I hate that we got rid of that. Oops. All right, and then let's give it a little squirt. Love, 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 love. Love that shimmer spray. All right, so I didn't have a sample of that one, so that's just um, how it looks. So if you wanna take a picture, love it. All right, one more. Now we're gonna do this green and red one. So I was gonna, this is how I originally did it with the square on another square like that, but I didn't really like that. So I'm gonna try something different for the video. So if it doesn't work, we're just in trouble, but I've cut strips of the dazzling paper so we're gonna try and do the dazzling paper on here. See what it looks like. All right, so for this one, we are gonna stamp this in the shaded spruce. And I love this color. So let me see if I can clean this a little bit. I don't know where all this fuzz came from. Like something got on it and stuck. And it's just got fuzz all over it. 
I don't know where that came from. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, diagonal on here. I hope my head is not in the screen. All right, so there we go. And then we've got our little pine needles stamp off. There you go. And then we're gonna do that on the inside too. I don't know why I keep cleaning that before I stamp it again. And there you go, beautiful. Okay, so, ah, there we go. All right, so again, we're just gonna take that template, put it on top, and put our little square right in the middle with some glue. So quiet. But see, it gets perfect in the center every time. Love it. Your fuzzy PJs. No, it was fuzzy earlier. My PJs aren't really fuzzy. They're, um, I took this stamp to a class the other day, and I think just something got in the box, and it just got like that. All right, so we're going to take this and glue it down around there. So I'm just gonna put my little, now see there's no adhesive on that one, so we gotta actually use the glue and stick it down. But I like that look. And hold it, because it takes a minute for this to, to stick. Because the back, the back side of this is kind of slick a little bit, so it just doesn't stick as well. And then we're gonna put another piece right here. I got a big glob of glue on there. Hopefully it doesn't ooze out. Okay. We were crazy busy at work yesterday, I'm telling you. It was just nonstop all night long. And then people were coming in and I, and I, I would say I was like, um, you know, there's nowhere to park, so obviously we're crazy busy. They walk in the door. Some people are waiting in their cars, but the waiting room was totally full. In the back, we have 12 rooms in the back. They're totally full. And then, so people were coming in and I said, we have a really long wait. And they're like, well, how long is the wait? And I said, well, I don't know exactly, but probably at least a couple hours. And um, so this one lady comes in. We had a lot of people coming in for sports physicals yesterday. So the lady goes, even for a sports physical, there's like a two or three hour wait. And I said, why would a sports physical be... <laughs> You know, because it's just a walk-in. It's not appointments. So it's like first come, first serve, unless you have something, you know, urgent, urgent. You know, that like shortness of breath or heart attack or something. Um, and see, I'll probably have enough here left over to do another card. So she's like, even for a sports physical? And I'm thinking, well, you're sure not going to be able to cut in front of all these people who are sick. Or sports physical. I don't know why you would think it would be less time for that. <laughs> I'm just like, why would you think you could cut in front of everybody for that? Now, I was thinking you could go back and put this in here like this. But I'm not sure if I like this or not. So let's see what it looks like. If you put that in there and make another um, round of it. What do you guys think? Do you like that look or do you think it would just be better just to leave it? I have one more somewhere. Uh-oh, I lost one. That's funny. <laughs> Uh-oh. I uh, have lost one of my pieces. I don't know where it went. Well, that might answer that question because now if we don't have it, I can't do it. So that is crazy. It must have fallen on the floor. Oh, well, we're not going to do that then. But you could if you wanted to. But first, oh, here it is. It was stuck together. Okay, there we go. All right, so what do you think? Do you like it with the green on there? Like that. 
for a second layer. And then, what do you guys think? I haven't done any with two layers. Oh, you like the double. Okay. I think you have two stuck together. You're right, Vicki. I did have two stuck together. You are right. And I couldn't see it it's right in front of me. All right. Isn't that funny how you see stuff is right in front of you and you can't even see it. All right. So we're just going to do a double layer. So just glue that down. And then get your thin strip of glue. This is easier the second time because you got something to line it up again all the way down. Okay, so after this video, you guys should have absolutely no problem making these faux shutter cards. You know, I always want to say faux show, faux shutter, faux shutter. I don't know why I always want to say it like that, but I do. But they're so easy, so that's why we made four tonight. Okay, so then we're just going to let that dry for a sec. Trim it off on the other side. Looks like a little pinwheel here. Oops, that's crooked. There we go. And you probably could just leave this the way it is and not even add the red and it's still really pretty. So there you go. So you could just go like that. What do you guys think? Or you want to add the red, the red on here. What do you think? Let me cut that in half. Oh, I keep hitting something and my screen keeps disappearing. <laughs> Stuff is popping up. Oh, I know why. Because... <laughs> My keyboard fell on the floor again. It's sitting on the floor because it's not, there's no room on my desk. Hold on. I know you guys just sit there and laugh at me being such a ding dong. Okay, so there we go. It's hard doing videos though. Like if you guys do videos, you know it's, it's kind of stressful getting on camera in front of all these people. All right, so you want to add that and add this. Or you like it? Yeah, I do like it, like with the red. What do you think? No red, no red, no red. Oh gosh, everybody's saying no red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we got that. No red, okay, Woo. there we go, no red. All right, so let's glue that down. Yeah, it probably would be too much with the uh, the two other strips on there. All right, then this on the inside. Now that's a bedazzled card. It's just dazzling. Okay. So there you go. Lots of Christmas cards for you today. So we need to do... Um, a little bit of the the pearls I brought are not going to match that so we're not going to do that actually the green ones would I think we got enough glitter on this paper so what do you, which one do you like the best the one with the two strips or this one on the left let me spray it real fast too there we go all right which one of those do you like better I think I kind of like this one better actually but I don't know. Absolutely stressful. Yes. Roxy says stressful. So Roxy, you must do some videos too. Nope, nope, nope. No red on the other one at work. So putting colors and patterns together. It's not easy for me. Okay. All right. You like the two strips one better. I like them both. I really like the red on this one though. I kind of like the two different patterns. Both are beautiful. All right, so here we go. So here's all the cards we did. So we'll just put them all on here. And there you go. So we did a bunch of cards today. And I hope you love them. Um, don't forget we have a joke coming up. So don't leave yet. We have the joke. 
Left one better like the red. Two strips, no red. Ah, oh, okay. Well, thank you guys. I'm so glad you liked them. All right, let me get the joke for you. Hold on. It is funny. Okay, so here we go. So this one, who sent this one? I can't remember. Oh, nobody sent me this one. I found this one. All right, so I got this one on Facebook. All right, the mother-in-law arrives home from the shops to find her son-in-law, Patty, in a steaming rage and hurriedly packing his suitcase. What happened, Patty? She asked anxiously. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I sent an email to my wife telling her I was coming home today from my fishing trip. When I got home, guess what I found? Yes, your daughter, my wife, Jean, was in bed with Joe Murphy. And he said, this is unforgivable. The end of our marriage. I'm done. I'm leaving forever. Oh, now calm down. Calm down, Patty, said the mother-in-law. There is something very odd going on here. Jean would never do such a thing. There must be a simple explanation. I'll go talk to her immediately and find out what happened. Moments later, the mother-in-law comes back with a big smile. Patty, I told you there was a simple explanation. She never got your email. <laughs> I love it when you just don't see the end coming. <laughs> All right. So lots of comments. Thank you guys so much. Um, you can only see one blue. Okay. Well, I think these are both blue. These are all blue. Lost Lagoon is blue. It's kind of a bluish green, but it's still blue, I think. All right. So let me give away a couple cards because I have a couple cards from last time. Hold on. We have four cards we're going to give away. Let me scoot that over a second. All right, I've got four cards to give away. So hang on one second. Let me give some cards away. Patricia said she just spit her drink out. <laughs> oh, thanks, you guys. You're so sweet. All right. So let's pick some winners. All right, winner of, this is one of the napkin cards that I made that is so gorgeous. I love this card. Sometimes it's hard for me to even give them these cards away. Um, oh, thanks, Michelle. Thanks, thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, Mary. Robin says, my wine glass is empty. I didn't have any wine. Maybe I should start drinking wine during my videos. Then you would really hear me cackling on here as somebody said to me today, that they love my cackle. <laughs> All right, who has not won a card? Um, let me see whose name on here I don't recognize. Um, and who has left a lot of comments today? Vicki, you sure have left a lot of comments. I'm gonna give you a card today, so you can have one of my napkin cards. So we'll say, um, winner, uh, oops, is, Vicky. Okay. So you get that one. And I still have one from the last time. Maria DeAnda never claimed her card. So Maria, if you're watching, I still have your card. Let me see. Everybody left so many good comments today. But I want to pick somebody who hasn't won in a while. Me, me, me. All right, Roxy. We are going to give you a card. Roxy Adams. And you get this gorgeous one. I love this one. This is a book binding card that we made. So there's that one. Winner is... Um, what is Semelon? from Washington State. What is that? Um, okay, Bonnie, we'll get you in here today. Bonnie. Blake. All right, one more. This is the one we made the last time. That was the fun fold, in case you missed that video. Winner is, um, okay, Diana, we'll give you one. Diana Egan. I think you just placed an order today. Marva, I'll put your name on for next time. So next time we have a video, Marva will get one. Marva, where'd your name go? Dahoney. 
All right, so we'll save your name for next time. And Fran, we'll give you one next time too. All right, but make sure you're watching next time. So Fran Moritz Booth. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me so much. And if you want a card, make sure you send me an email. Let me get my email. Hold on. Here we go. Stamp Girl 2. Make sure you don't forget that too. At cox.net. Sherry, I'll put your name down too. Um, oh, Gail, this is your first live. All right, let me put some names down here for next time. So we have Sherry Johnson and... Who else did I just see? Oh, Gail. Beth Rice. I'll go through the comments and pick some more winners that haven't won before. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I was sorry it was a little bit longer today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, a great Thanksgiving. I'll be back Saturday morning with another video. Um, and don't forget, if you haven't done thumbs up, do that for me. And... Rewatch it if you missed some. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.